Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gristle back again uh, to actually explain something because I was kind of confused because I'm, I'm new into learning about the Korean culture and I've been seeing on a lot of the websites I've been going, going to uh, the past couple days they've been talking about Chusa. And I was like, well, what is this? You know, I, and I was kind of trying to read some things and it wasn't really, you know, answering my question. So I, I wanted to do some research on it. And this video is for people out there who, who don't know what it is. Because I'm sure there's some people out there who are going to be like, pff, pff, Chusa, I know what Chusa is. How do you not know what Chusa is? But this isn't for you guys. This is for the people who don't know, like me, who want to know what Chusa means and what it's about. Um, Chusa is pretty much, uh, it's a, a, a three-day festival uh, celebrating, celebrating the past year's harvest. And uh, it, it falls on the was it, 15th day of the eighth month of the lunar calendar. And like this year it, was on, it started on September 19th, which that makes today the last day of, of Chusa. Then like next year it'll be on September 8th, I believe, and then 2015, September 27th. Um, but yeah, so it, it changes each year. But like I said, it's it's a three-day festival on the 15th day of the eighth month of the lunar calendar. And um, what it is is people, you know, like I said, pretty much are celebrating the past year's harvest. They a lot of times they'll dress up in, in traditional clothes, go back to you know their their hometowns and and, and be with their family and stuff. And uh, you know they they have big feasts that consist of you know the past year like food harvests and and like traditional uh, Korean cuisine like um, what's that one song songpyeon? I'm sure I'm freaking butchering the name songpyeon which is like a rice cake and then hangwa which is like a dessert uh, then they chase that down with some nice rice wines like dongdongju or soju uh, then uh, you know some some of them go back to like you know tombs of their their ancestors or loved ones and you know they'll they'll clear out the area clean you know clean what needs to be clean and then they'll offer food and drink to their to their loved ones and this this goes on for uh you know this festival goes on for like three days and it's a uh just a, a fun time it sounds like a fun time it sounds like uh for america i don't know it would kind of almost be along the lines of like a, a thanksgiving i would think um but i, I might be wrong but um but yeah uh, that's what that's what Chusa is all about in in Korean culture, and I hope I help explain that to some people who may not have known what it was. Like I said, I was lost. I didn't know what it was. I had to go go read up on it myself, and I figured why not make a video about it. So those people who knew what it was, you know, I'm glad you knew. But for all the people that didn't know, I hope I helped you out a little bit. So love y'all. Peace.